For 2023, you have a bunch of layout options to choose from for your planner. And today I want to give you a closer look and some ideas about why you might choose one version over the other. So I'll show you the different weekly versions first. Now you can see this is your vertical column weekly view and each of the days of the week have their own column. And so this one actually gives you the most flexibility in terms of switching up the layout with stickers. I'll show you that in a second, but you can see each day is listed there. Now, when we jump over to the boxed view, you can see it's a bit more horizontal. Each day has a blank box and a lined column next to it and it's a little bit more structured of a view and you do have less flexibility. Jumping into the daily, you can see we have this more mindfulness focused detailed view, or you have this blank box view, which is much more open ended and can kind of fit to any needs you have. So as I mentioned, one of the main things you'll want to think about when choosing your layouts is the amount of customization you want to do through the sticker set. So when we look at all of the options for the weekly overlays, most of them work best with that blank column view. So if you're looking to add something like a schedule block, You'll want to choose that view and just be aware that it'll take a little bit more setup time at the beginning of the week to build out that perfect layout. Now you can see I added in the schedule block. You can see from my other videos that you have, you know, schedules with timetables, you have bullet lists. Now I'm also going to customize the footer. And in this case, I'm going to add this meals footer so that I can go through and do some detailed planning around my meals for the week. So there's a lot of flexibility, both in terms of an overlay and a footer when you choose the vertical column weekly view. You can see I was really able to transform that from the more blank view. Now, when I'm in my boxed weeks, there aren't a ton of options to customize the entire view. Instead, it's really kind of all set up for you. So if you're looking to do something simple like just write a to-do list or some follow-ups and then have some space for your basic plans for the day and not have to do any setup at the beginning of the week, this is a great layout for you. And what I really like about it is that it doesn't require a bunch of setup at the beginning of the week, but it's giving me the structure that I need. Now, if we jump down to our daily pages through the links at the top here, this is where we also have two different options. You have this blank box view, and of course you can just use the boxes as is if you're kind of looking for a blank brain dump space or if you jump over here into your sticker sets, you can see there are a ton of different options to customize that right column of the page, whether it's just a blank, you know, lined or adding in one of these more decorative sidebars. And so you can add that in over these blank boxes and it's nice to have the option to have, you know, that more open-ended space for a day that you might have a lot of notes or be able to add in that decorative block. Now here's that other option, which is more mindfulness focused to accompany your goal setting. And again, as a reminder, if you're looking for a version of the planner that you don't have to set up, add stickers to or customize, it's just kind of ready to go when you upload it, this would be a great option for your daily pages. And of course, you can add this sticker over any version of the planner that you choose or really any column of this daily page. So you have a ton of flexibility when you're using the sticker set. Now, beyond those landscape versions that I just showed you, you also have the option to use a portrait version of the planner. So I'll give you a closer look at those layouts and how they work with the sticker set. 
from the monthly page, you can tap right down to the week and you can see it's laid out vertically here with this right column. And then you can also tap down to your daily pages there from the week. Now there's a whole dedicated sticker set for the portrait pages. You'll see there's a little less flexibility in these pages, but you do still have small note sections that you can replace with one of these stickers. Now, these that I'm showing you here work on both the monthly page and the daily page. So interchangeably, you can use them on either of those layouts and you place them right there in the footer. And same with the daily page. For my daily page, I'm going to go ahead and grab this more colorful ones focused on mindfulness and I'm going to tap down and place it right there again over that open notes space. So it's great to add a little more color and structure to that page or you can of course just use the notes space as is. Now for your weekly page you also have a whole collection of widgets that go in that far right column and you can see they look familiar to what you saw for the footer widgets of the weekly pages in the landscape planner and they just fit right here over the right side and can kind of extend that with some more intentional planning for your weekly page. I hope this was a helpful peek at the differences between all of the different layout options for the 2023 planners. I'd love to answer any other questions that you have, so drop them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you're excited about my planners, please like and subscribe. I'll be sharing many more videos, inspiration, and tips over the next year.